Hello, everyone. My name is Vanilia Randall. I am retired professor of law from the University of Dayton School of Law. I am also a public health nurse uh, who worked in public health for 15 years before I went to law school. Um, and I also worked as an emergency room nurse. Uh, I'm 72 years old and I have uh, many um, health issues that make me not just old, but high risk. Uh, like you, I have family who want to help and who are helping me, but on occasion, I find myself needing to go out um, and in this age of uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. And so I wanted to do this video to encourage you as another old person to listen to the advice of the authorities about how to protect yourself and to work with your kids on doing the things you need to do to protect yourself. And but no matter how protective you are, there are going to be times that you need to go out. Maybe you need to go out shopping. Uh, maybe you need to go to the doctor. I just went to the doctor to see my cardiac doctor yesterday. And it is uh, it was getting ready for that visit that I decided to uh, uh, tape with the help of my grandson what I do to protect myself from the virus. Uh, because it is significant. Uh, if you, if we get ill with it, we are going, many of us, not everyone, is going to be very sick. 20% of the people who get it are going to be very sick. And the death rate is very high for people who are older and like us and who have uh, health issues. So, I want to thank you for taking the time of looking with looking at this and for sharing it with people who you care about. Uh, thank I have two bags that I put together. Can you show the bags? Okay. Uh, my small bag that I carry everywhere and a big bag that I leave in the car. In my small bag, I have wipes with alcohol on it. I use these to wipe off my credit cards and stuff before I put them back into my bag. If you can't find alcohol, I have been using witch hazel, which is not really as good, but I think it's better than uh, nothing. So this is in my bag. These are gloves in my bag and I put these gloves on when I get in the car uh, or before I get out of the car uh, when I'm going. I put these gloves on to keep from touching stuff that has germs on it, but it also helps remind me to not touch my face. You can get these gloves. I could, you can, they're still available. They're called exam gloves. They're the same gloves that doctors and nurses and other people wear. Uh, and so remember, the gloves are just to keep you from getting a lot of germs on your hand when you're out and about and then accidentally putting them in your face. Um, I carry something for my head, for my face. 
This is a mask. It's not a mask. It's just a piece of cloth that I use. I put them in separate bags so that if they get dirty or anything, I'll have a bag to put the dirty thing in. Um, and I kind of fold the cloth down a little bit. Can you see? So that there's double cloth over my mouth and nose. And then I just tie it around. I've situated till it's comfortable, not too tight, not too loose. And then I leave this on as long as I'm out and about. I went to the hospital today, uh, anywhere where I'm going to meet up with people who are not in my family, I wear this. Now, in my big bag, I have the same stuff, but more. So if I end up, so this is the gloves. And I put them in the sack because I try to put everything in a separate sack so that if I reach into the bag, that I don't contaminate stuff. I have extra hair stuff face stuff so that if for some reason I need to take this off and I want to put another one on, I have another one. I have, these are called, these are adult wipes and I bought these adult wipes which are really just for cleaning yourself as a grown up, especially a person who's having problems. It's got and then I poured alcohol and let it soak up in there. So it's got the alcohol that is needed. I have extra trash bags. So if I need to put something, if I, if, if, for instance, if I went out and somehow I got all germs all over my thing, I could take this off and put it in the trash bag. Like I said, I don't put this bag, I leave this bag in the car. So here I am, this is what I do. Now when I get in my car, I will sometimes take the mask down, but I don't like doing that because it can be hard to put back up and you could end up touching your face. So the last thing I'm going to show you is how I take off the gloves. And this is important because if you've been out and about, they really have a lot of germs on them and you want to take them off right. So the way you take off gloves that, have, that are germy, you pull them in the middle. You don't touch your skin. You pull them in the middle and pull them down. See, they come off and you roll them up in your in this hand. Then you reach your fan finger underneath here and pull and see it's inside out and you don't touch anything germy and you can just throw this away. Okay. Thank you for for doing this for me, Makai, my grandson.